What's up everyone, Takedown here. Today we're going to be talking about the top grossing movies of 2019. Let's get right into this. So for this video, I'm not going to be sharing the worldwide gross earnings, just the domestic. So up first, coming in at number 10 is Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw hit theaters August 2nd. And the gross earnings for 2019 are 173.8 million. Now, I have not seen Hobbs and Shaw yet, but I really plan on doing so because I am a huge fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. So I really want to check out Hobbs and Shaw, even though it is a spin off and I'm not really keen on spin offs. I really want to check it out. Next at number nine is Us. It hit theaters March 22nd and it has the gross earnings for 2019 for 175 million. Now this is a thriller slash suspense movie, kind of like a horror movie. And for me, that's just not my cup of tea. That's not what I like whenever I'm going to watch a movie. So this isn't one that I checked out or I'm not planning on checking out, but it did pretty good at number nine. Next coming in at number eight is It Chapter Two. It came out September 6th and it has the gross earnings of 211.5 million. Now again, this is a horror-based movie, and that's not just my cup of tea, so I have not checked this out. I might because the It movies look very interesting, but it's just not something that's on my radar as of right now. Next, coming in at number 7 is the Joker movie, which came out October 4th, and it has the total earnings for 2019 at 323 million. For a movie that came out not too long ago, Yes, it is a Joker movie, and Joker is a very popular franchise with the DC Universe. He's the number one most favorited villain in all of superheroes, I would believe. So that is pretty good gross earnings, and coming in at number seven. Next, coming in at number six is Aladdin. It hit theaters May 24th, and a lot of people had mixed reactions with this, especially since Will Smith played the genie, but I have not seen the movie. But just looking at the trailers, it looks like it's very interesting. It looks like they did it right. And I'm really excited to watch this movie since it is live action. And I'm a fan of them attempting to do live action. Now, I know Disney sometimes makes the mistake of not capitalizing and not doing what they could have with doing a live action remake of something that was an animated movie back in the 90s. But this one here looks like it did pretty good. 355 million gross earnings for 2019. Next, coming in at number five is Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, this is a movie that I watched. It came out July 2nd, and it has 390 million for the gross earnings this past year. I'm a huge fan of Marvel, huge fan of Spider-Man. So I watched this movie and I actually liked it. I really enjoyed the movie. I thought they did it well. I like how Mysterio is in the movie. So all in all, I think this was a great movie. Coming in at number four is Captain Marvel. Now, even though I'm a huge fan of Marvel, I just have not yet checked out this movie. It's the next movie that I plan on watching. It came out March 8th this past year, and it has so far 426 million for the gross earnings. That's pretty good. It looks like it's going to be a good movie. I just have yet to watch it. Next, coming in at number three is Toy Story 4. It came out in June 21st. And this is something that back whenever I was a kid, I was a huge fan of. I loved Toy Story. That was a great part of my childhood. And the fact that they're continuing to make movies on Toy Story, that is something that just hits heart for me. And I know a lot of people that are my age or maybe a little bit older that grew up with the Toy Story, they're still checking it out, even though it is a cartoon and it's a kid-based movie. It reminds us so much of our childhood, childhood, and we love it so much, the whole franchise, that a lot of us checked it out. I have yet to watch this movie as well, but I really plan on doing so because it looked phenomenal. 434 million gross earnings for 2019. Next, coming in in second place, is The Lion King. It came out July 19th. Now, this is one that also got mixed reactions because it was a live action remake from the movie from the 90s. And a lot of people didn't like that. They thought that even though it was live action, they should have animated it a little bit more for the characters to make them resemble the cartoon animated versions from the 90 movies a little bit more. And for me, if they're going to go live action, I want it to be live action. It looks like it was a good movie. I have yet to watch it. I plan on doing so very soon. 
543 million gross earnings for 2019. It looked like it was a great movie. Next, coming in at first place is my favorite movie of 2019. It was honestly a great movie, and that is Avengers Endgame. It came out April 26th, and with this movie, it's really exciting to see what Marvel is going to be doing next, what they plan on doing in the future, because there's a lot of movies that they are planning now, and I think because of Avengers Endgame and how everything planned out in that movie, it's really going to open up the doors for other characters to try to weave their way into the big screen. It's definitely going to be interesting to see what they do next because of that. Gross earnings for 2019, $858 million. Honestly, it was a bit of a long movie, three hours, but it was a great movie. They really did a hell of a job. I absolutely loved it. It is not only one of my favorite Marvel movies of all time, but it is absolutely, hands down, my favorite movie of 2019. So out of these top grossing movies of 2019, which ones were you most shocked that it did so well in the theaters? And which movies that I just mentioned did you enjoy the most that came out in 2019? Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this one here. Please take care. Peace.